ask me, I don't wanna know it'll be okay. Hey, this is Jay Lucky Henry, Keller Williams agent in the greater Boston area. You won't believe how many questions I get on a daily basis. Every day people need answers. Every day people need explanations. That's why every day people need to get real. R-E-A-L. Real Estate Explained amazingly by Lucky in 90 seconds. Give or take. Welcome back, Jay Lucky Henry. Today we're talking about getting a pre-approval. Now, a quick definition, according to my loan officer friends that I've spoken with, and there's a whole video that I posted down below, or right here actually somewhere, here, here, wherever it is, right, about what a pre-approval is in depth. But a pre-approval is basically a commitment letter from a bank that they will lend you money for the purchase of a property or home, or et cetera. So you kind of get the definition of what it is. You know what it is, you need the pre-approval. I'm gonna talk about two very important reasons as to why you should get a pre-approval before you start looking at properties. There are tons of other reasons, but I'm gonna cover the two most important. Number one is you need to know what you can actually afford. So let me back up. There's tons of ways you can buy a property, right? Cash, wholesaling, etc. There's tons of ways you can actually buy it. But if you're going to go the conventional route of getting a mortgage, you need to know how much a bank is willing to lend you. Because if you're looking at $600,000 homes, but the bank's only gonna lend you 500,000 and you've only got 50K in your savings account, you got a 50K gap right there. So you wanna make sure that you know what you can actually afford or what the bank is willing to loan you and then look at homes that fall in that price range, right? You also wanna know how much you have as a down payment, how much you can expect for closing costs and kind of figure out what's the right range for you to be looking in. That's the first thing. Number two is you should definitely have a pre-approval before you go out. Because let's say you do find a home that you wanna buy and it is within the price range you can buy. And someone else also wants to buy that home. Now, one person has cash or a pre-approval letter and you have your desire, right? All you have is the desire to buy the home. You don't actually have any proof to the person selling it that you could purchase it. If you had the cash, you could show your proof of funds. If you had your pre-approval letter, you could show, hey, this bank is willing to lend me this amount of money. Because at the closing table for the seller, it's all cash at the end. Whether you buy it with a mortgage or buy it with cash, when the deal closes, they're still getting their money. So your pre-approval, while it's not cash, it's almost like the next best thing, some people might say. And if you don't have the cash to buy the property, wouldn't you want to have at least the next best thing when you're going out? Those are my two reasons why you should definitely get a pre-approval before you go looking in, uh, at properties. And tomorrow we'll be back with more videos about the whole home buying process. It's been real. It's been 90. Gotta go. This is Jay Lucky Henry, and I'm here to keep it real with you. Whether you're looking to buy, sell, or invest in real estate, call or text 978-712-0244, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more.